If this video doesn't work out, I might need to transition to a new line of work. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. That Power Director love you need from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on transitions. I know you guys want to know all the ins and outs of how to use the transitions or how to apply them in your video. So I'm going to show you how to do that using Power Director 15 Ultimate. Let's jump off into the program and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate. So let me break down a little bit of Transition 101, just real quick for you. Transitions are effects that are used to enter or exit a clip. They can be used on images, text, videos, or audio. So let's start off this transition tutorial thing by setting up some defaults for our transitions. So to do that, we want to go to Preferences. And then we're going to go down to editing. So under the timeline section, we want to make sure that we go down to set default transition behavior. And there's a drop down here and it gives you the option for a cross or an overlap. So if you select overlap, when you apply a transition between two clips, the first clip will overlay the second clip during the transition. Now, this option looks pretty sweet, but sometimes it can affect your audio and make your audio and video out of sync. So I don't use it a lot, but if you like it, make that your default. Now, if you select cross, when you apply a transition between two clips, they won't overlay and the middle of the transition takes place right where the two clips meet on the timeline. So I'm going to select cross because that's how I like it. I like things crossed up up in this world. Okay. I'm not about things just being all simple. Cross up things once in a while. Get your cross on. Now I want to go down to the duration section and you can change the default duration for your transitions here. Now, less time creates a faster transition and more time creates a slower transition. All right, so you can change this to whatever number you want. The default, I think, is two. I might have changed it to two. I don't know, but I think the default is two. Um, two or one is usually good for me. Um, now that we got these defaults all set up, let's go ahead and access some transitions. So I'm going to click on OK. To access the transitions, we want to go to the transitions room or we can press F8 on our keyboard. You can click on any transition to see a preview of how the effect's going to transition from clip A to clip B. Now, once you select the transition that you want, just drag it down to the edge of a clip in a timeline. You can change the duration of a transition by left clicking on it and then clicking on the duration button. Once you're here, you can type in the amount of seconds or you can use your arrows to change the seconds and the frames of the transition. Once you're done, you just click on OK. Also, you can change the length of a transition by left clicking on it and then placing your cursor over the edge of the transition that is closest to the clip and you can drag it to the right or to the left to make the transition shorter or longer. Now to modify a transition, you can left click on it and then click on the modify button. And from here, you can change any parameters that are available. And really the parameters that are available are based on what transition you pick. So if I, choose this transition here and I click on modify. You see that now I can change the blur level and the max blur level. So your options here will depend 
on which transition you choose. Now you can also change the duration of your transitions here, as you can see underneath the preview of the transition. Now you can also double click a transition to get to the modify menu as well. Now, when you add transitions between two clips, you have more options. So let's go ahead and just drag transitions down here. And that'll be good for now. So we're going to double click on this clip. And now you see you have the duration. Uh, you have the type, like how it's going to, is it going to come in or is it going to go out? But then here you also have overlap and cross. So these are the same options that we set in the defaults. So if you don't want it to cross, you want it to change it to overlap for some reason, you can click here and you see that it changes it to overlap. So you also have the option to change it if you don't like how you had the default set up. So I'm going to close this. Now there's also transitions that you can apply to audio and those transitions can be identified by little music symbols down in the bottom right corner. So if I drag this down to a clip, you'll notice that it has the fade at the top and then it has the constant gain audio effect at the bottom over the audio. So this will actually create a fade from one clip to the other, not only visually, but uh, audibly. So once you have your transitions placed, you can change any transition by just dragging another transition on top of the other one, and it will change that transition to whatever you, you drag over the old transition. In order to delete a transition, all you need to do is click on that transition, a left click of your mouse, and you can click on the trash bin, or you can right click on a transition and click on remove, and that will remove it as well. So if you have some transitions that you really like and you want to have access to them quicker, then all you need to do is click on it with your left mouse button and drag it to your favorites folder. And when you go to favorites, the transition that you use most will be located here. And if you want to apply transitions to multiple clips in the timeline, there's several ways that you can do that. The first way is you can click on the library menu while you're in the transition room. And when you click on that, it gives you four options for applying the transitions. So you can apply your favorite transition to all videos. You can apply random transitions to all videos, uh, apply fading transition to all videos, and apply random audio transition to all videos. So all of these have the same four additional options. It's a prefix transition, and a prefix transition is at the beginning of the clip. So instead of being in between them and over them in any way, it's just going to be the transition at the beginning where the clip starts. And then you have post fix transition. This means that the transitions will only be at the end of each clip. And then you have cross transition, which we talked about and overlap transition, which we also talked about. So I'm not going to go in depth on those. The other way that you can apply transitions to all of your clips is by using the transition buttons that appear over the timeline. So if I click on any one of these clips, now I have the four buttons that correlate to the four options that we had in the library menu. So they're just the same four options, they're just buttons instead of having them from a drop down menu. So there you go, Power with Director Peeps, Transitions 101. If you took away anything new from this, uh, training or from this tutorial, please share it in the comment section. I love to hear your opinion on the content. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. 
truly means the world to me. Now, I want to leave a quick shout out to one of our subscribers, Mike Paulus. Mike makes videos on SEO and social media. So, head on over to his channel, check out a few of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe, all right? Now, there's something I need you to do for me. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love, people, all right? Comments, you got any comments, questions, anything I can help you with, leave those things down in the comment section below. If you want to get a shout out like Mike Powell has got, then make sure that you look in the video description and use the shout out request form. There's a link to that in the video description. Also, if you want to make a tutorial request, there is a link for tutorial requests in the video description as well. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.